Hello viewers, welcome back. So starting this session, we will explore a very useful feature in Tally, which is interest calculation. So this is a very, very useful and critical feature. Unfortunately, not many of the uh, you know, users are utilizing this feature. Now, this feature is going to really help you in identifying the hidden cost. See, normally when we give credit to a customer, it is as good as giving an interest-free loan. So whatever is the amount that you have to receive based on your credit policy, the number of days the amount is spending beyond your credit period, you are going to lose interest. So this option or the feature that Tally has will give you an indication of what is the amount of interest that you are losing by not collecting your overdue bills. So it is like actually analyzing the return on investment. So in this session, quickly I am going to show you how are we going to enable the interest calculation and quickly set up an interest calculation so that you know how easy and simple is this module. Going forward in couple of parts, I will be discussing about each and every aspect of the configuration related to interest calculation so that you will understand the module much better and utilize this according to the need of your organization. So let's go to Tally and enable interest calculation and quickly set up the interest calculation and see the result within a couple of minutes. Interest calculation is an advanced feature related to accounting module. In Tally Prime, there are features which you enable them through F11 feature setup and certain features you can enable them through the masters and also you can enable them through certain voucher type. So the interest calculation is a feature which we have to enable under the feature setup or the feature configuration, which is your F level. Now, how do you access the feature? Very simple. All you need to do is, since this feature is related to company, you click on company and you will see the feature here. Or if you remember the keyboard shortcut at any point in time or anywhere in tally, you can enable the feature, right? So you can click here or I can press F11. And when I press F11, we will have this feature. Now by default, let us say if you are enabling this feature and if this feature does not have uh, show more set to yes, then the feature screen is going to be the basic feature which we are seeing here. Now for you to enable interest calculation, you need to go back here and then set this as show more feature to yes, enter. And once you set this show more feature to yes, and in case if this is set to no, right, again, you will notice here, okay, the interest calculation feature is not visible. So in case, again, if you are not getting the interest calculation, you come back here and then press yes. And now you will have this feature called enable interest calculation. By default, this is going to be no. So you can come here and then press Y for S, enter, and you can save the configuration. Control A. I have saved this configuration. Now the interest calculation feature is enabled. So all you need to do now is enable interest calculation for the party master. So currently in this session, we will understand the interest calculation mechanism for the trading ledgers. That is your ledgers under sundry debtors. So you can set up interest calculation for the ledgers under sundry debtors and also sundry creditors. But quickly we will understand how do we set up the interest calculation for your 
Sunday data ledger and see if there are any overdue bill which is not being paid within the credit period. By setting up interest calculation, you will know what is the amount of interest that we are losing as on date for the outstanding amount. How do we set up interest for the party master? We go to alteration, click on alteration, enter and select ledger and now you select the ledger for which you want to set up interest calculation. So let me select India Mart. This is my customer ledger. I'm going to enter here. And if you see here, since we have enabled interest calculation under F11 feature, you have this option activate interest calculation. So all you need to do come here and then press Y for yes. And now this is where you are going to set up the interest parameter. So we are going to now quickly do this in a very simple way for you to enable within minutes so that you can see the result of this feature. Now, since this is a party ledger, the option it is asking you, do you want to calculate interest transaction by transaction? So we are going to say yes, enter and rest of the parameters we will discuss as we go forward. So I'm going to leave all this blank. And now Tally is asking you, tell me what is the rate of interest that you want to charge? Let us say I'm going to say 10% is the rate of interest I want to charge. Enter. And here again, we will discuss in detail of each of the option, but let us select calendar year. Okay. And next it says on what balance you want to charge interest. Since the customer is most of the time going to have the debit balance, I'm going to say charge on debit balance only. And when do you want to start levying interest? past due date. So I'm going to select past due date. This option we will see at a later point in time. Now calculate from from what date you want to calculate interest. You want tally to calculate interest based on the due date of invoice. So that means if you have given 30 days credit from the 31st day, if the amount is outstanding, then tally is going to calculate 10% interest on the outstanding amount till the current date if the amount is outstanding. So you're going to select due date of invoice and rest we will see at a later point in time. And now you save this ledger by pressing control A. Come back to gateway of tally. Now the interest is already set for the ledger that we had configured and the interest amount is also auto calculated. And now it is ready for you to view the amount of interest that has been applied for the overdue invoices. So how do we go and see this report or where do we see this report? First, let me walk you through the menu path. So from the gateway of tally, you will go to display more report. You can use your hotkey, press D for display more report. And then the interest calculation report is available under statement of accounts. So press yes for statement of account. And now you have this new option called interest calculation. So you can select interest calculation, enter and this option again, it is like your outstanding report. So if you want to see interest receivable for all the ledgers, you can select this. Interest payable is that if you are setting up interest calculation feature for your sundry creditors ledgers, where if there are any overdue bills that you are supposed to pay, and if you want to know what is the amount of interest that has got accumulated on the overdue outstanding, you can set it up for your sundry creditors ledgers also. The ledger is where you can select a particular ledger and view the interest amount. So in this case, we had enabled interest for only one ledger. So when you select ledger, Tally is going to display the list of ledgers for which the interest calculation feature has been enabled. So select India Mart and here you have the interest amount. Now this report is going to say what is the opening amount and what is the pending amount. And also it is going to say what is the amount of interest that has been calculated as on the current date. So the current date in this company is 21st of January. 
so as on today if you see on the total pending amount of outstanding of 4,15,000, is the interest that has been accumulated, which is your hidden cost, which is going to obviously impact your bottom line. So now, how did Tally calculate this interest? Let us see, or you want to see how Tally is calculated. So all you need to do is, press alt f5 it is now going to give you the calculation that is applied for the outstanding invoice so let us take the third case where there is a part payment also now let's understand this the invoice is made on 3rd of june the invoice reference number is 10 okay the invoice amount is 120000 on this invoice a 30 day credit was given so this invoice amount was due on 4th of July. But then the customer has made a payment on 16th of August, which is 50% is made the payment. So till 16th of August on the entire amount of 120 from the due date for 44 days at the rate of 10%, it is calculated the interest amount here. Now on 16th, part payment of 60,000 was made. So the interest is now going to apply on the balance amount of 60,000 starting from 17th of August till the current date, which is 158 days at the rate of 10%. The interest amount comes to 2,597.26. Both put together, the total interest is 4,043.84. So this way, based on the configuration that you would provide under the interest calculation parameter, the interest will be calculated by tally. So in the next session onwards, we will go to each and every parameter under the interest calculation subscreen, try and understand what would be the impact of those option when it is set to yes or when it's set to no, we will explore in the upcoming sessions. I hope this would have given a quick idea about how you can quickly set up or enable interest calculation and apply the interest calculation for the ledges for which you want to track interest calculation. So like I mentioned, we will go step by step and understand each and every configuration that we saw during the demo and see what are the advantage or how you can leverage these options and make your interest calculation much, much better. Like I mentioned, we can also charge interest calculation if you want to charge. And we will also see in the upcoming sessions, how can you now pass an entry to bring the interest value into the outstanding statement. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.